some people get angry because of their past experiences with particular persons. This results in family disharmony and unhappiness of all members of the family. We don't want to get angry responding to them. How do we communicate to them to love even the person they hate for their upliftment in their present work? So this question, I don't know whether the person is asking about himself or he wants to tell somebody who is showing anger on someone else. Either way, for any person in general, one principle will help you. That principle helps me also. Either in anger or in desire, anything, any emotion, this is the principle. Everything is happening with a, with a reason. And he says, someone misbehaves or something like that, he told, um, past experiences with particular person. So if the particular person is not behaving in tune with you, there is a karmic effect of you behave, not behaving in tune with someone else and you have to experience how much hurt it, you have caused to that person. The Vyapar, you put a capital, you get the profit here, negative way. So every action has got an equal and opposite reaction. So all that is act happening, the good and bad, the relative term, somebody is hugging you, somebody is slapping you. Is hugging you because you hugged somebody. Is slapping you is because you slapped somebody. There is nothing other than that. If you understand this principle, and you don't want to put more karma by reacting to the external behavior of the person. Number one, that's one fault here. You're reacting to the external behavior. Number one. Number two, you're carrying that emotion, past experiences. Well, that experience is momentous. Why should who asked you to carry that emotion? Many atheists, my guru was an atheist <laughs> till he turned about 45 plus. And he turned into a total saint. If the God remembers all the things he has done when he is atheist, she will not give Moksha to him. It's okay, now you are doing Sri Vidya Puja. You didn't come to my Baladi temple, I still remember that. <laughs> she won't. I mean, Happened is happened, you know. It won't. Um, first of all, you should not carry anything. Once you sleep, that's fine. That's the easiest way. Once you sleep, fresh. You are a fresh person. Reality is every sleep is a death. Every wake up is a birth. So reality. So number one in this case, in a family member, most of the time I see you nowadays. I don't know whether the families are like this or in my childhood. I see two families quarrel and they separate. For them to come together, either a death should happen or a marriage should happen. Agreed or not? That mama will not be with the mama only in the death and marriage. Such a horrible um, uh, pharmacy qualities we used to have. Thanks to the younger generation, they don't have that quality. I appreciate that. So, but still we need to work on that um, principle of not attributing the reason to the external entity. Whatever is happening, you have done something. Other person is always correct. And this rule doesn't apply in administrative aspect. When you are a manager, whatever you do is correct. The company will go bankrupt. <laughs> In, in the manager role, you need to perform your role as a manager perfectly. But in a family, it's a family. After all, they are members. So, number one, karmic effect. Number two, don't carry any emotions with you. Don't carry. What happened is happened. And they say there are three levels of great quality. One is, there are three levels of quality. One is 
one person does a mistake, he'll remember that ages and always pricks them. You did the mistake, you did the mistake. That's why I don't talk to you. That's the tamasi. Then the second level, rajasik, is you know what, Pawan? You did the mistake, but I excuse you. <laughs> Every time they say that, you did the mistake, I excuse you. They behave them with them, but they always remind them, you are a culprit, you are a culprit. The third level, well, the first level is, what is there to excuse? You, you didn't do anything, it is normal. That kind of, uh, you know, awareness we need to develop. Very uh, difficult to look. Don't carry the emotions and other person is always correct. It's all happening because of my karma. Everything. In, for this, I'll give you an example. In Bhagavatam, something we need to have to guide us, right? We don't know what's now Google is guiding us. That's a different thing. But before Google, Bhagavata was there, right? <laughs> <laughs> so let us go to the Bhagavata guide. And Abhimanyu was there. And Krishna has to deliver the news to Arjuna. And Arjuna, he prepares Arjuna. Mata nasti, bitter nasti. Ardho nasti, grahan nasti, tasma, jagrat jagrataha, illa, all are nasti. And he says, Arjuna, did you understand this Vedamsa? Yeah, Krishna, you're a Gita Charya. How can I not understand? Everything fully understood. He says, Oh, now you have come to a state where you can accept the death of Abhimanyu also, right? What? Yes, Abhimanyu is dead. Krishna Vamsanasi. That's the first word. Vamsanasi. I put you as a protection for my son, and you're just acting as a death messenger. Nobody will believe you. He abuses. Krishna will be smiling. Because he followed my uh, that, that principle which we have discussed. Everything happened with you. Because when you are in a form, how can Rama lose <laughs> Sita when Vishnu, Vakshastala uh, Vasaye, Lakshmi, how can they lose? It's an action. When you are in a form, they have taken the form to teach us something. Not you pray them and then get something. Teach us. You get that life. So after that, Parikshit was born. Dead. Dead. Still born. Then Dharmaraja asks, Arjuna to bring Krishna. Krishna comes, he snaps his fingers on the cheek of the Parikshit, is again back to life. You know that story. Then immediately Arjuna says, Krishna Vansodharaka. Krishna says, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sometime back, the same person. <laughs> you call me Vansanashi? Now, how come? At least he remembered that just to teach him, not as a precipitated emotion. He says, now, how come this Vansanashi has become Vansodhar? Vansanashi means the destroyer of the generation. Now, the protector of the generation, how he can become? At least now you understand that even I am supposed to get the scoldings from you. I am not also free from karma. Now, when Krishna himself says, why not we follow the principle, right? Everything happening without a, with, a, with a reason. 